How to cut your dog's nails at home. The most common reasons for resisting nail trims are the owner's fear of quicking the dog or the dog fussing and making the operation unpleasant. Nail cutting takes on a life of its own, complete with angst and drama. Cutting nails may not be appropriate for very active dogs who run all day on a variety of surfaces. Natural wear and tear occur as a result of high mileage. Excessively long toenails are more popular than not in the city or suburban dogs that are fortunate to get a mile or two of regular exercise. In this video, you will learn everything about cutting a dog's nails at home. So make sure you watch till the end. Hey, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, send the request, and fill out your details. They will take care of the rest. The first symptom of long toenails is a pain in the feet. When a dog's toenails come into contact with rough ground, such as a curb or the kitchen floor, the nail is pushed back into the nail bed. This applies pressure to all of the toe joints and causes the toe to twist to the right. Those toes become very sore, even arthritic in any case. When your dog is in pain, he can make a fuss when you pick up his paw to trim his nails. Long toenails have a second, more severe effect. To travel around the world and correctly process gravity, all animals rely on information from nerves in their feet. While dogs have been running long distances and keeping their nails short for millions of years while hunting, only while climbing a hill did their toenails come into contact with stone. As a result, the dog's brain has evolved to equate toenail contact with being on a slope and he adjusts his body position to match, leaning forward over his forelimbs up the imaginary hill reported by his toes. Since the hill isn't real, he'll have to compensate with his hind limbs to avoid a face plant. Since it brings his paws closer together under his body, this peculiar compensatory pose is known as goat on a rock. According to new research, standing with your limbs camped in is difficult to maintain. These goat on a rock dogs develop overworked muscles and finally overworked joints, especially in their hind limbs, making it difficult to jump into vehicles, climb stairs or even get up from lying down. Sounds like many of the senior dogs that we've seen. So now, when you know why cutting these nails is so important, let us talk about how. Dog nail trimmers come in a variety of styles, including scissors, grinder tools made especially for dogs, and guillotine models. You can use whichever style is more convenient for you or fits the best for your dog. If you cut your nail too short, keep some styptic powder or some other clotting powder on hand to stop the bleeding. You must follow some simple steps of nail trimming with dogs. First, pick up a paw and put your thumb on the pad of a toe and your forefinger on the top of the toe, just above the nail, firmly yet softly. Make sure your dog's hair is not getting in the way. In the next step, move your forefinger forward while moving your thumb up and backwards on the paper. The nail will be longer as a result of this. Then just the tip of the nail should be clipped straight across. Include the D-claws which are found on the paws in a side. If you clip past the curve of the nail, you run the risk of hitting the pink area of the nail that contains the blood vessels. There is a nick there and it hurts and bleeds. Keep an eye out for a chalky white ring on dark nail puppies. Use a safe tool to grind your dog's nails. Just use clippers with a scissor blade the toe is crushed by guillotine type clippers, which is kind of painful. Never use a clipper to remove the whole nail. For better power, use small clippers. Only giant breed dogs will need extra large collars. Keep your clippers sharp by replacing or sharpening them on a regular basis. Grinder of the sort pedipaws. paws. After that, use a rotating emery board to smooth out the trim. Grind down the pencil by filling only the insensitive nail around the top and sides of the quick. The nail in the wood and the quick is the lead. 
Grind just a tiny section of your dog's nails at a time. Firmly but softly support the dog's toe. Smooth rough edges by grinding across the bottom of the nail and then carefully in from the tip. Keep the grinder higher up closer to the tip for better power. Maintain your dog's comfort and be aware of any sensitivities. If your dog has long fur, keep it away from the grinding tool to avoid being stuck. It is also necessary to know what is inside your dog's toenail. The internal structures of the nail are shown on the left, along with a suggested angle for removing the roof of the nail while avoiding harming the sensitive fast. The transition between sensitive and insensitive nails on a black claw is normally chalky and white, making it easy to distinguish. A close-up view of the inside of the nail can be found on the right. The responsive fast will appear translucent and glossy in the cross-section, similar to living flesh. There will always be a notch below the tip of the swift in untrimmed claws. Starting your angled cut at the notch is normally a safe bet. Some dogs behave as if clipping the nails were the worst nightmare they have ever had. It might be a learned trait as a result of their sore, over-stipulated fingertips which would go away with the pain as the nails get shorter. If your dog is a squirmer or a bit of a drama queen, use all of your restraint and behavior training tricks to get through the initial process. Start with the back feet as the nails are shorter and less sensitive than those on the front. However, keep in mind that you will not be able to make a precise cut on a moving target. So enlist the aid of your dog trainer or groomer if necessary. Consider nail training a quality time activity for you and your dog. A good attitude, plenty of kisses and plenty of treats go a long way. If you fear it, your dog will too. So, practice acting before you can convince yourself that it will be a loving experience for the both of you. If your dog has a short tension span, consider clipping one nail per day. Giving and toe a trim every 16 days is a reasonable maintenance schedule as long as you keep the order of the toes clear. Short toenails are important for your dog's overall health and well-being. Failure will not be accepted. So, what do you think about this video? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. So, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, fill out your details and send the request. Their comprehensive screening process goes above and beyond federal regulations and has helped them place more than 200,000 healthy puppies into happy homes.